So Mr. Ray's an interesting case. He uh, was brought to the emergency room paralyzed. I finally get on my side and I noticed my legs weren't cooperating so I was picking him up to kind of roll over and didn't think nothing of it, you know, just thought maybe I had to slap on it funny, it fell asleep or something like that. My feet hit the floor and so did the rest of my body. So we said, let's go to, you know, we had to go to the emergency room and see what was wrong. So the unique uh, pathway that, that Mr. Ray's case took, the uh, reason the outcome was so good wasn't me, it was the, everyone involved. So Mr. Ray came in and the nurses had to assist him to get out of the car because he was completely paralyzed. Um, he couldn't bear weight, he couldn't bear his body weight. Um, our nurses and our actually nursing director picked him up and got him on a stretcher, wheeled him into the emergency room and I immediately evaluated him. After walking out of the patient's room, I called Dr. Dickerman immediately because I knew the extent of his paralysis we needed to act on very quickly. I remember coming out of the room and talking with the nurse and saying, this day is gonna forever change Mr. Ray's life. Said that there was a, a cancerous tumor on my spinal and it was pushing my spine into my spinal cord and that's why I'd lost my legs and most of the time I guess you lose your arms and your legs if it's in your upper back and uh, I think he even mentioned that that you know it, it could be a wheelchair kind of situation for the rest of my life and Dr. Rogers immediately realized the acuity of the problem and, and called me we then got the proper images the MRI tech was ready got the MRI done very quickly and then the OR was ready the decompression of his spinal cord not being delayed that was the key to the case. Once we got the tumor from in front of the cord and out from around the back of the cord, the cord was totally surrounded with this cancer. As soon as we got it decompressed, uh, closed him up, let him go to the ICU with the hopes that he would recover. And uh, thankfully on his way from the operating room, he started moving his feet. He kind of gave me a 50-50 chance, you know, of walking again and that kind of scared me a little bit. But uh, at that point I wasn't walking anyway, so it was like, Let's see what happens. And uh, they whisk, whisk me away, and next thing I know, you know, they were operating on me, and I was in the recovery room the next time. I remember waking up. <laughs> had a lot of people praying for me, and a lot of people across the whole country. I had a chart on the wall, you know, with all the different states. Somebody was in praying for me, and I believe prayer had a lot to do with it besides the doctors. So but thanks for taking care of me from the bottom of my heart. It was all in all a good, a good day for everybody.